Have you ever wondered how Zellulose and Xylan interact at a molecular level? My name is Alberto and that is when trying to find out. Cellulose and Xylan are two of the main components of wood. Cellulose is a chain of glucose residues. Glucose is a ring of carbon atoms, but if we have a look there in red you can see that one of those carbon atoms is actually out of the ring. This allows this carbon atom to rotate and adopt different conformations as those TG, GT, and GG that are depicted there. On the other hand, Xylan can also adopt two different conformations. It can adopt a two-fold screw conformation, which is when it is bound to Xylan, to cellulose, or it can also have a three-fold screw conformation where it is unbound. If you have a look at the model in the middle, we can see that cellulose is actually a stack of 18 of these chains that we call microfiber, and you can see that some of them are going to be light in the inside and adopt mainly one of the conformations, the main one, whereas the ones on the surface adopt a different conformation, what we call the main two. And then we would have xylan coating this cellulose microfiber. And the questions that I'm trying to answer are how does xylan affect the cell wall assembly and more particularly, what is the effect of short and scarce xylan? So we started with this model on the bottom and you can see that maybe in a well-type plant we can see that xylan is cross-linking two different cellulose microfibrils. But now imagine that that, that that xylan chain is shorter and that it is unable to reach the second cellulose microfiber and this might be falling apart and causing disruption. In order to investigate this, we use solid-state MR. This is a very powerful technique because it can distinguish between the different conformations of cellulose and those of xylan as well. And we use wild-type plants and also some mutants that have short and less xylan. This is one of the spectra that we got. And if you have a look, you can see that the mutants with short and less xylan in the colors other than blue seem to have more of the domain to cellulose that, that we had on the surface. We can actually quantify this. And what we realize is that the mutants with short xylan, as we expected, has less silent, but very interestingly as well, we saw that they seem to have more xylan in the unbounded state, and also that these mutants with short xylan seem to have a change in the cellulose conformation. Predominantly, they have most of the conformation that is mainly on the surface. So this allows us to propose a new model, as you can see on the top corner, and you can see that when there seems to be less xylan bound to cellulose, this seems to be when there is the xylan code in cellulose, this seems that cellulose is alternative conformation, as we can see on that model on the right. And if you would like to hear more about this, please come to my posture. Thank you very much. Thank you.